こっくりさんこっくりさんあっそうです生徒会長がギリバギリ生き物を教えてくださいあっ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、あ部をわきまえろ。知れ者が。Get yourself a T-shirt, hoodie, sticker, or mug today. End November 30th. Thank you. Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. I haven't uploaded a video in over a week now, and for very good reason. I think on the Friday that just went, I became very, very ill, and I believe it might have been COVID. That got me. And I'll be honest, even right now, like I'm still recovering, but I just got to the point where I was like, I need to do something because I'm going stir crazy, doing nothing. But then at the same time, there wasn't really anything being released for me to cover. So I was genuinely going insane. And as you can see on my neck here, I literally, I don't know if you can still see it, still it's all red, but I literally clawed my way out of bed just to make this video. And the video we're going to be making. <laughs> And the video we're going to be making today is on Azen Studios Prehistoric Emergence. Now, I believe I've reacted to the first episode of this, but I thought we'd put them both together because I haven't watched the second one. I was originally going to wait for the third video to come out because apparently they're working on a third video of this and then I'll just watch them all in one go. But、um, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. So I'm just deciding, let's just do it now. And, you know, I, I just need to put something out on my channel. And I know that this is a great series, so you guys will enjoy it. At the start of this video, you saw an ad for the new merch that's available. For the 30th of November. This is the Gizkuna and Lojo t shirt that you can go and buy. There's also a, I'll try and show you this one, Fat Loki Wizard. And then there's me as a vampire hunter and Loki as Count Dracula for you guys to check out. You got stickers, you got t shirts, hoodies, mugs, whatever tickles your fancy. Go support the channel. And、uh, yeah, we're just gonna jump straight into this. I apologize if the energy is off. Like I said, I'm still technically recovering from whatever the hell I've been beaten with. Yeah, I owe you guys a video, I feel. So I'm gonna pop this one out. And、uh, I hope you guys are doing good, by the way. I hope it's it, genuinely, I like it. I was going, getting depressed not being able to make a video and not being able to like, interact properly. With you guys. Okay, so once again, like I said, it's by Azen Studios, so go check them out down below. The link will be in the description.、Um, leave a like, rate, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And we're just gonna jump straight in. Ugh. Okay, emergency alert. Do not enter the o Okay, do not enter the ocean. All coastal regions and beaches across the nation are to be immediately evacuated and closed until further notice. All water related activities, including boating, fishing, and swimming, are strictly prohibited.、Mm -hmm. Unprecedented marine activity has been detected, with reports of previously extinct oceanic species reappearing and exhibiting aggressive behavior. I think I said this the first time I watched this video, but you wouldn't catch me in the middle of the ocean doing any of those kind of hobbying tasks like deep sea fishing or whatever. I, you wouldn't catch me there. That is not my territory. I am easy prey out there. I would rather not. Do not approach the water under any circumstances and listen carefully to the following information. Numerous, thought to be extinct species, have re emerged in our oceans. Okay. The reason for the re emergence of these previously extinct marine species is currently unknown.、Okay. Although it is theorized that the formation of a massive blue hole in the ocean has provided these ancient creatures with an entry point into our waters. Okay. This I believe at this point, the hang on. hole is believed to lead to a hidden region where these extinct animals have continued to exist. That's like hollow earth theory right there. But at this point, I, I said that this could be almost like a portal to like another dimension of like maybe a, a blue planet that's dedicated just to like these humongous like sea creatures. And they're connected like a wormhole almost between one planet and another. 
That'd be pretty interesting. The following species are considered extremely dangerous and are to be avoided at all costs. Right. The Mosasaurus, the Dinkleosteus, and the Megalodon. Well, I know what that third one is. This nightmarish marine predator is considered to be a colossal, monstrous lizard. It is equipped with a mouthful of razor-sharp teeth, capable of tearing through flesh and bone with ease. That's not good. The Mosasaurus will eat anything, including humans. Including this behavior humans. poses a serious threat to ocean ecosystems and endangers countless species. Mosasaurus can grow up to over 50 feet in length. Damn. Its massive size makes it easily identifiable in the water. The not when you're like, human can not when you're like added. deep in the ocean and you can't see anything below you. You could have something humongous below you and you wouldn't be able to see it because light can't reach there properly, which is a horrifying thought. Speed of around two to three miles per hour. The Mosasaurus can swim at a speed of 30, 30 miles per hour. Damn. Mosasaurus have been spotted in a wide range of oceanic climates ranging from tropical oceans to polar oceans. Okay. It has been reported that there is an especially high population of Mosasaurus in the Atlantic Ocean. Furthermore, there have been several instances of Mosasaurus capsizing small boats and consuming the passengers. Oh my god, that's Lord terrifying. That Mosasaurus will stick their head above the water to scan their surroundings. If you see this, leave the vicinity immediately. Oh, don't- I wouldn't be in that vicinity. Let me just make that perfectly clear. This ancient creature was oh my the god. first apex predator. Looks goofy as hell. The Dinkleosteus's armored head makes it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Okay. Its thick, bony plating cannot be penetrated by standard bullets. Only harpoons and high-velocity bullets can breach its defenses. Right. The Dinkleosteus is... I mean, I think I said this before, right? But... They're saying to keep out of the water, the ocean, whatever. Like, that's fine by me. I can live the rest of my life without going in the ocean, probably. You know, I don't need to do that. I'm, I'm completely fine. So the, I don't have to worry about these creatures. It's about 13 feet in length. Despite its size. Unless they, you know, just somehow grow legs and start chasing people it's on land. An incredibly high bite force. For reference, the crocodile has a bite force of 3,700 psi. Damn. The Dinkleosteus has a bite force greater than 6,000 psi. Its size and maneuverability allow it to attack swiftly and without warning. The I think I remember hearing, the, I think the first time I reacted to this, I forgot when it was. It was quite recently, actually. People were saying that there was, the, this is footage used on, um, was it a documentary? Leosteus is currently being investigated for additional weaknesses. Furthermore, it has been discovered that the Dinkleosteus is very aggressive. Oh, Obviously not a, like a real live act, like producer. footage documentary. I think it's one of those like CGI ones Five that shows what was around back then. Encounter with this predator, it is recommended that you employ avoidance. Yeah, F mate, I am in a. Actually, I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm not in a landlocked country, but I'm in the middle of a country right now. I'm nowhere near the ocean. It's all good. Here we go, the Megalodon. This prehistoric behemoth has once again reclaimed its title as the ultimate predator. Mm. Its insatiable hunger is leading to catastrophic declines in marine populations. I think I remember asking, like, if this was, like, the big, big one, like, the, the top predator of the ocean, uh, why did it go extinct? And I think people were saying that it just... It was too big to stay alive, as in, like, it needed to eat quite a lot, and I don't think it could. Or something like that, I'm not sure. I could be talking completely on my ass. Listen, I blame it on the illness right now. I've got, I've got an out right now. Up to 2,500 pounds of food a day. Hmm. This led to a massive drop in ocean... Oh, okay, 2,500... ...wildlife and will certainly destabilize many ecosystems. I can imagine. 
Big back. Jeez. Can grow over 60 feet long, making it the largest predator in outer oceans. Megalobac. This shark's jaw is so massive it can fit to adult humans with ease. That's it nice to know. It can grow up to seven inches long. If megalodons are not dealt with, they will devastate our ocean beyond repair. Bro, how are we meant to deal with them? Bro. Permanently putting our food security and economy at risk. Trust that authorities are urgently handling the situation. Yeah, they look like they are. <coughs> Do your part by cooperating with these instructions and being willing to assist financially with the management of these sea monsters. Mm. For now, the ocean is no longer in outer control. I don't think it ever was, in honesty. I don't, I don't know, well, so I think I said this before, but us as humans, we have this need, this power, this like power hunger in us that just feels the need to control everything. And it's like, we share this, we share this planet with other things. Like what makes us like the, the one that can dictate what gets what and what controls what. I don't know. In honesty, I feel like this is karma for how we have been. So that was the first video and that was the ocean. I believe the second video that we're going to watch that I haven't seen yet. This is the one that would concern me because I, it would be on land, I believe. But let's just have a look and see where these things actually are. Breaking news. Breaking news. Creatures have been spotted. Oh God. They have been seen emerging from newly formed deep holes and caves. Oh, okay. Some more holes. We are the A's on News Channel. It is our duty to keep you updated on the prehistoric emergence. Okay. Similar to the blue holes emerging in the ocean, alike formations have now been spotted on land. These openings have that... been discovered in various oh, wow. locations across the globe. We strongly advise you to maintain a safe distance. That looks beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, that genuinely looks beautiful right there. I mean, it... and refrain from that's just a cave. Known voids. Stay tuned until the end of the broadcast for more updates on these openings. I mean, that one's a little bit more Attention ominous. Attention residents of Australia. <laughs> well, I mean, do you need to really make this announcement? I mean, Australia before were just, they're just used to it. They use this kind of behavior. This is just child's play to them. Keep all pets and children indoors. The Megalania has returned to haunt the continent. Oh dear. This giant lizard is equipped with razor sharp claws and serrated teeth. The Megalania can grow up to 23 feet in length and weigh over 1,000 pounds. Oh my god. That's a big old lizard. For your safety. Avoid venturing into forests or wooded areas. The Megalania's coloration allows it to disappear into its surroundings. That's terrifying. You know, I'll be like very interesting if one, if one of these prehistoric animals was good at... Because you always think about mimics as like these uh, humanoid kind of creatures. What if they were some kind of ancient creature? That would just, they're literally just an animal that can mimic, you know, like a parrot can mimic, but it's like just a big, like the lizards from um, SCP when you go in the basement, when you go into the elevator and they, they can mimic the last thing that they heard. That'd be very interesting. Oh God. Ugh. There have been several sightings of Megalanias in urban locations. I can't believe if it. If you spot a Megalania, call local authorities immediately. Megalania. Attention, the wolf has made its glorious return. It is abundant in tundra and steppe environments. What? The woolly mammoth grows to be 13 feet tall and weighs around 6 tons. 
they are not considered to be dangerous unless provoked. I mean, we, we basically made those extinct, right, by hunting it too much. If spotted, do not engage with a woolly man or its offspring. Okay. They are already being mass hunted for their tusks, which oh. are worth over $10,000 on average. Damn. Meanwhile, legislation is slowly being considered to ban the hunting of these mammoths. Well, I mean, that I'm, I'm sure that's a given. Straight away, that would be a given. Like, because that's the whole purpose of why they went extinct, basically. They were over overhunted i don't know the toronto zoo is excited to announce it will be the first zoo to feature the woolly mammoth oh buy tickets now to visit the mammoth next month the megalodon returned just a month ago and uh -huh. devastated oceanic ecosystems authorities have been working tirelessly to combat this threat but How? now it seems that we have an ally in this fight who? Meet the Livy Yawin. This killer sperm whale is powerful enough to even kill megalodons. Oh my god. The Livy Yawin can grow. The, the, the what? The Livy Yawin? 60 feet in length. While its length is similar to a megalodon, it has an advantage in mass. The megalodon weighs 50 tons, while the Livy Yawin weighs around 57 tons. Oh, okay. The Megalodon has the highest recorded bite force out of any animal that has ever existed, with its teeth being seven oh my inches God. in length. Although its bite force isn't as powerful, the Livy Yawin's teeth are a foot long and angled forward making it tremendously difficult for its prey to escape once bitten. Furthermore, Damn, okay. the Livy Yawin has superior intelligence speed, and durability. Yeah, I was going to say, look at this head. There's a big brain in there somewhere. It is estimated that it would win against the Megalodon about 65% of the time. 65%? Oh, what did I just say? Uh, Liviton preys upon what? Preys upon large whales. Megalodons Damn, okay. gain an advantage in situations where they can sneak up on Livy Yawkins. What? I feel like they keep changing that name. They just said Livy Oggins. Who's Livy Oggins? Will keep each other in check. The situation is being monitored as Livy Yoggins could quickly become a threat to ecosystems. Oh my God! It doesn't end, does it? So we use this thing to help us put an end to the megalodon. But it's like, okay, now you're causing issues. So it's just going to keep going. It's going to keep having a knock-on effect, isn't it? Until, uh, I don't know. It's overpopulated. Overpopulated. Reports are now coming in. Colombia and India have entered a state of emergency. Authorities are enforcing a strict lockdown, as dangerous prehistoric snake species have emerged. Oh God. The lockdown serves to protect the citizens and prevent these creatures from spreading to other regions. Both snakes measure around 45 feet in length and are aggressive towards humans. The tiger boa has infiltrated Colombia. It is advised to avoid bodies of water in this region. As 45 foot. As the Titan Ebola is an aquatic snake. On the other hand, the Vasuki Indicus is a terrestrial snake. Oh my god, there's no escaping. This swamp giant's diet consists of big fish and crocodiles. It will dominate the swamp's ecosystem without challenge. The Colombian National Police are closing off the waterways to prevent this creature from spreading elsewhere. Swamps okay. are being closely monitored for its presence. Not much is known of the Vasuki Indicus. That's a big boy, it Jesus. It has been seen to attack larger mammals and humans. Citizens are pleading for the army to intervene, as this snake is terrorizing the country. This Damn. snake is named after a divine serpent. 
This serpent is often depicted coiled around the neck of Hindu god Shiva. Shiva. An international organization Shiva's wrath. is being formed to handle the prehistoric emergence. In the meantime, many governments are resorting to bombing the openings to prevent more animals. I mean, to be fair, that's not a bad shout, in honesty. That, I mean, I know we probably always resort to military when there are things that we don't understand happening, but I feel like this is reasonable. ...from reappearing. A worker on one of these sites recorded a strange sound coming from one of these formations. They're snoring, they're sleeping. Oh, hell no. That sounds like... They're having a freaking ritual down there. Imagine it. <laughs> Imagine it's late at night and you hear that. I don't know why you'd be camping in a rainforest for... Uh, I'd never do that. I mean, I've seen the, the reels and stuff of like just the little bugs and stuff that can get into your tent and cause you mayhem. It doesn't look fun. But imagine hearing this at night. It is now speculated that these creatures emerged from these formations as an escape from something more dangerous. Stay tuned and stay alert as more dangers may appear. Man. Right, roger that. Roger Dodger. I don't, they didn't say anything about the UK, so I think I'm okay for now. Just Australia, India, Colombia, uh, where else? I don't know where else. So I think I'm good. I think I'm okay. But that was awesome. Like I said, they are working on the third video, so it'll be interesting to see. Because I think these are based off of real animals, right? Like real ancient or prehistoric um, creatures that once existed. Um... Although it'd be interesting to see if they kind of go their own hybrid way, like this, the, the holes could be like, they, they start hybridizing and making like god-like ancient creatures. Um, maybe a little bit more Cthulhu-esque, like just like completely terrifying. It'll be interesting to see, but there we go, guys. That was Azan Studios Analog Horror Prehistoric Emergency. So be sure to go like the videos, go subscribe, show your support, that good stuff. If you did enjoy my video, consider liking the video, subscribing if you're not already, as this is the majority of my content, analog horror reactions, stuff like that. Once again, I apologize for the lack of uploads on the channel recently. Yeah, I've, I, I needed to just fight whatever this was off and just try and make a video because it, genuinely it was sending me crazy not being able to do anything. And I'm still feeling kind of rough, not as bad as I was, but I'm feeling okay, I'm feeling all right. Yeah, hopefully videos continue a little bit more regularly soon. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Be sure to go pick yourself up some merch. The link will be in the description down below. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Take care guys.